All right, time to do some measurements. So I got a chronograph and I'm going to measure the velocity of different bolts and arrows. I am two, exactly two meters away from the first sensor, now just for consistent distance. And uh, this is far enough for the arrows to fully accelerate. This is one of those common misconceptions that you have to be relatively far away from the target so that the, the bolt or arrow has enough time to accelerate. But as long as it is away from the string, it only accelerates while the string pushes on it. After that, as soon as it leaves the string, it actually starts to decelerate. So the only important thing is that you are at least a full arrow's length away from the chronograph, which is the case. So this one here just happens to be a kid's bow, just as the lowest uh, measurement. So it's, we don't really know how, the exact draw weight, it's 10 or 15 pounds probably. And we've got 84. This bow has a draw weight of 35 pounds. This arrow has a forged botkin point. It's noticeably heavier. So the speed should be quite a bit lower. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, it's visibly slower. Here is Christopher's compound bow. This is a 70 pound draw. And I shouldn't be messing with this, but I'm stubborn. I'm just too annoyed at being held back by the, the shoulder injury all the time. So I wanna try it at least once. I know it's not as safe, but over there is nothing but a dump. And I have to draw it down because that way I can bypass my delt which is giving me trouble. I can draw it this way, I can't draw it straight back. The chronic shoulder injuries are just getting in the way. And of course the uh, draw is a bit too long for me, but okay, 260. And now I'm gonna let you take over. Now the medieval crossbow. 350 pound draw, as has been hilariously proven.
I'll have to see if the shoulder gets in the way with this one here or not. Okay. I guess I've warmed it up, huh? This crossbow here has a draw weight of 185 pounds. 